Hello, and welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am a Didi, and this is going to be a, me a meeting. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, a meeting, but a reading for whenever this message reaches you. Because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. And so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you get what I'm saying? So we will continue on with the center and then the clarifying above, below, behind, and in front. Um, we will continue also using the Moonology Oracle cards, um, but we are switching up the clarifiers to the Orisha Tarot. For now. So, what messages does Spirit have for us uh, today? Three shuffles and a cut. this from the book and this is the balsamic moon not to be confused with the vinegar it's a really big word for Elmo and this is page 3-8 A time for healing, balsamic moon. Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, comma, before you make your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or simply pretend that everything is okay. Message. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe yourself and everyone in need. Then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. It is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had. If you know that someone or something is, really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so that you're ready when the time comes. Dot your eyes and cross your T's. You don't just get to wipe the slate clean like that. You really need to close all of your doors. Okay. All right. Well then. Ah, <sighs> yeah, this has been, these last couple of days for me, I've been physically tired and doing a lot of sleeping which is great because it's a long weekend. So at least I have the time to do it. But at times like this, when I'm doing a lot of sleeping, I tend to beat myself up about it, you know? But this, even though I know that this is what my body needs at this time, yeah well let's see what clarifying energies we have for the time for healing Page of Pentacles above. Scoot you down a little bit. Scoot you down a little bit. Make sure you can be seen. Yeah. 
zoom that in. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right. Page of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles below. Death behind. Temperance in front. Okay. Hmm. Separating the wheat from the shaft, truly, truly. Separating the wheat from the shaft. Um, mm. What's that? Render what is Caesar's to Caesar. Hmm. That's interesting. Give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. Okay. This is a... Uh, Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Ooh. Okay. Mm, it's like a lice comb. You have to comb through all of the details. You're combing through all of the details and separating what doesn't belong, which is clarified or further illustrated by this seven of pentacles. Like there's a lot of stuff happening, right? And you've accumulated a lot, but you know that some of this is not gonna be able to go with you and that some of it is not for you. Ooh, some of it is not for you. And so, you're at a point where you are separating what is good for you and what is not and doing away with that. Um, also doing it um, not with, there's, there's, a, there's a detachment with this temperance here. There's a detachment there. It's a, uh, mm, yeah, Har Harriet Tubman, either you're with me, either you're for me or you're against me. Either you're going to go or you're going to get shot. I, I, I don't have time to, there is no more time for me to listen to your reasons for you to listen to the reasons as to why you're not for me. If you're not for me, then you need to fall away. Fall away, corn. Five of pentacles. Eight of swords. Strength. And the ten of swords. Yes, this is going to feel... Yes, this is going to hurt. And yes, there's going to be periods of isolation, sure. But this period of isolation is also very much self-imposed with the Eight of Swords. I chose this life. I chose this path. And I'm going to stick, I'm going to stick beside him with the, <laughs> with the strength card. It's like, you you know you know that this loneliness that you are feeling is temporary and not only is it temporary but it's also going to be beneficial for you in the long run with the ten of swords and that you know what you're coming to the end of that so you can endure the pain a little while longer because you know that it's 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 about to go away if it hasn't already. Queen of 
Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Oh, that's nice. Page of Wands. And the Six of Cups. This uh this balance here. I'm 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 hearing balance your books. Yes. Balance your books, of course. But I also see that there there's a match here with the king and the queen of pentacles, um, which means that you're really stepping into, you're coming into your own as it relates to your resources, okay? You are, and it's not just your physical resources, like, you know, your bank balance and all that good stuff. Like you are really tapping into this is if you're not, it's just a, if you are not tapping into this energy here with the queen of pentacles, um, this queen of pentacles is divinely guided. She has, she is plugged in. Okay. She is in constant communication with spirit and spirit directs and guides her moves, right? And because, because she is listening and is tapped in with spirit, she is being blessed over and above what she expected, right? And then this King of Pentacles, um, because he's her mate, he understands this. Not only does he understand this, but he is in lockstep with her. You feel me? So I see this and I'm seeing some financial abundance coming in big time, big time. And it's not just, you know, financial abundance that's going to come and go. This is something that's going to stick around. Feel me? Stick around. All right. So um, we've got the Page of Wands and the Six of Cups. Page of Wands behind, Six of Cups in front. Um, this. Ah, this lovely, lovely spark. Let me look at this for a moment. Okay, so the Page of Wands here is, it's got a plate of food. He's got a plate of food. And like even when we're eating, the food that we eat is only going to sustain us for so long, right? We're going to have to go back after a while and get more, get more fuel. Um, so... Like with the previous reading when I was talking about, you know, like the spark plugs and giving just enough energy for the piston to do what it needs to do. Um, that spark is illustrated in this plate of food that is being brought forth. Right. And then you've got the six of cups, which lends me to believe that uh, you're going to have enough for yourself and enough to share. There will be enough. You, know, you are you are coming into a time of plenty. Yeah, you're coming into it. Ten of Pentacles, like I said, that's judgment. Seven of Cups and the Devil. Okay. So with the Ten of Pentacles coming in on the top, um, this is long money. I always call it my long, I, I, I call the Ten of Pentacles my long money card. This is being able to set up trusts for future generations. This is having a diversified portfolio this is more money, more problems. This is moving into 
a new way of thinking because this this is not for the hundred heirs you feel me or the thousand heirs you dig what i'm saying like this this requires a a different mindset and then we've got the judgment here and the judgment is literally spirit saying you know what yeah um i'm here to to reset some things i'm here to reset some shit so that's what that is uh seven of cups and the devil seven of cups behind and the devil in front um typically this card is about choices the world being your oyster right um and there are some good choices and there are some empty choices right but this this is mm, okay hold on being told to go to the book going to the book one moment please for the seven of cups discs wands wands cups In the Seven of Cups, we went into problems of perceptions and ambiguity. Things are rarely what they seem, and when we find, and what we find when we choose our cup is rarely what we thought. That would explain the confusion in trying to explain this card. It is a card of illusions and the emotional fallout that comes with realizing we've been duped. In the Odu Irosun, we encounter the proverb, the hole is dug. It is simply saying with deep ramifications. In negative situations, it is said to be the grave, which raises the question, who dug this hole? And is it our time to go into it? Often this proverb is, often with this proverb, it is our actions that will determine the outcome. On the other hand, it is a message of potential. If we dig in the earth, it is possible that we might find treasure. That treasure could be something natural from the earth itself, or perhaps what someone has buried in hope that no one would find. If we're going to dig holes, the only thing that is clear is that we never really know what we may find. With this card, we often find both treasure and loss at the same time, leaving us wonder, leaving us to wonder if it was worth the cost. Hmm. Is this Ten of Cups going to come as a result? Is it gonna is it gonna be an inheritance? Does this mean that? Hmm. Okay. Or is someone else going to suffer as a result of your gain? And we've got the devil card here with the crosswords, crossroads, crossroads, and live a little, live a little man. Um, I'm wondering. It could be that the hole is being dug because someone was dishonest with you and keeping you from your wealth for Okay, so I apologize for that. The camera cut off. So back to what I was saying. It's very well could be that someone was dishonest with you and kept you from your wealth and so spirit is coming in and writing 
this wrong. <sighs> I had a whole other end to the reading, but we are going to put these back. and reshuffle and see if we can get a little more with what spirit has to say okay eight of cups four of wands the hermit and the Ace of Swords. Either way it goes, you're moving forward. Either way it goes, you're moving on because you're building your own foundation. It really doesn't matter, like, on your own because like, you've, you've already sequestered yourself from the general public and have done that for quite some time and so you I'm, I'm speaking to those who kind of just like let karma do whatever it is that she's going to do you just make sure that you're on the right side of her so you've got your own gifts you set it aside you know what the truth is and you're going to govern yourself by the actual truth and go on about your life and for those that felt that it was cool to steal from you, you're perfectly fine with letting spirit deal with them the way that spirit is going to deal with them. Then we've got the five of wands, we've got the sun, the three of pentacles, and the four, four swords. Yeah. You are beset on all sides. Just a whole damn melee. You already see it coming. And you're just like, look, we can either work together or you can get molly whopped. I don't care because you know what? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm going to do the things that I need to do. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm just going to stay back here. I'm going to rest. I'm going to get myself healed up. And then I'm going to be about spirits business right nine of wands yeah i know it's been whooping my ass but the world again coming to the end of that the three of cups i am here to celebrate good times come on and the three of swords i'm gonna celebrate that you know what the pain is done it is over now and scene Hmm. Ace of Cups, because I've got a fresh new emotional start, and that's what I'm going to rock with. So there's that. Okay, well, thank you for spending time with me today and hanging out. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.